This is Eugene Panrutkovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Lenovo IdeaPad Z560 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on the Lenovo Z560 laptop computer. Before we do anything, we need to remove the battery to make sure the laptop is safe to work on. And in order to do that, we flip the laptop over, and there's two levers we need to slide. One on the right, right here, and that's to unlock it. We slide it to the right, and then one to the left. We slide it to the left and slide the battery out. Once the battery is out, the laptop is safe to work on. Okay, in order to get to the screen, we have to remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame that goes around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we have to remove two screws on the bottom of the screen bezel. And they're covered up by some rubber covers. OK, so we're going to do that first. And before we start, we're going to show you the tools we need. We need an X-Acto knife with a pointed blade to remove the rubber covers a pair of sharp metal tweezers to remove screws that are stuck, and an electronic screwdriver with a PH1 bit. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size. And then just in case, a smaller PH0 bit, but most will be using the PH1 bit. OK, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is remove the rubber covers that are covering up the screws. We use the X-Acto knife for that. And we attach the rubber covers to the sides so we don't lose them. Same thing on this side. And then we use our screwdriver with a PH1 bit to reach in and remove the screw. It's a little bit of an angle, so you have to use some force at first to get it started and make sure you don't strip the screw. So one. And then same thing on this side, remove the screw. And what I like to do with each set of screws is to keep them in a separate pile. And that will help you put it back together when you know which screws go where. All right, once we remove the screws, we can remove the screen bezel. And it snaps off. And what I like to do that is use my fingertips or fingernails to reach on the screen side and gently start lifting up the screen bezel and listen for the snapping sounds. Now once you hear the snapping sounds, that's a good sign. So gently go around the screen and snap it off. If a place you get stuck, go around that place and start at a different place and come back to the place you get stuck later. He often gets stuck at the corners, so I'll leave the corners a little bit off, and then I'll come back later for it and it snaps off. Okay, sometimes you have to reach in and snap it off here, but not in this case. It almost comes off, and just the hinge covers are stuck, so if the hinge covers are stuck, so I reach in underneath with my tweezers and just kind of lift it up and the bezel comes off, and that's fairly easy. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard, so just take your time on it and try not to break it. Okay, once the screen bezel is off, what we want to do is be able to reach the screws on the side of the screen that are securing the screen to the metal mounting brackets from the screen assembly. Right now we can't reach those screws so we have to tilt the screen forward from the back of the screen assembly to reach those screws. And the way we do that is we remove two screws at the top that are holding the metal mounting brackets to the top. One and two. OK. And try to gently tilt the screen assembly forward. OK, we see when we do that, we can reach the top screws, but we still can't reach the bottom screws. So for that, I have a trick. 
there are some screws at the bottom that are holding the hinge assembly to the back of the screen assembly and I don't remove these screws I just loosen them a little bit just enough to tilt the screen forward to reach the screws on the side once you loosen them the screen tilts forward from the screen assembly and we can almost reach the bottom screws so I'll, loos I'll loosen it up some more just enough so we can reach the screws at the bottom okay so that's barely enough to reach the screws at the bottom and you see what I'm doing is I'm reaching in and removing the bottom most screw because that's the hardest one and put the screws to the side on its own new pile and there's four screws on each side so we do that and when you do this make sure your screen assembly is tilted back a little bit because when you remove all the screws you don't want the screen to fall forward on you okay so that's four on this side next we go to the other side and we can barely reach the bottom screw we don't want to loosen the screws too much so as not to damage the laptop okay two three and four okay once you remove the four screw the screen is going to be loose and it's going to fall back a little bit like so so be careful you don't lose the screw when the screen does that okay next we slowly tilt the screen forward and make sure it's not getting stuck on anything and so far so good we did that and next we look at the screen this is a standard 15.6 inch LED screen and it has a connector down here and we have to remove the connector to do that we we'll lift up the adhesive tape like so that's holding the connector onto the screen gently lift it up not to damage it and usually there's adhesive on the back of the video cable so we have to lift it up also once again being very careful not to damage it once we remove all the adhesive we pull the connector back and it comes out okay the screen is free before we go any further the biggest problem that I see when people replace screens at home is that the connector is not engaged properly so when you re-engage the connector you slide it in and make sure you feel two clicks and let's get a close-up of what the connection is supposed to look like see if you can get a good focus okay there shouldn't be no seam no gap in the seam between the two connectors so I'll pause the video right here and see we're trying to get a good focus okay that's probably as good as we can get pause the video right here and make sure your connection looks looks like this there's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection okay so that's that and let's keep moving okay we remove the connector again and we look at the screen it's a standard 15.6 inch LED screen and it's out of focus and we want to focus okay there we go standard 15.6 inch LED screen for the connector on the bottom left which is the standard location and let's look at the part number it's B156XW02, B156XW02. That's the part you need to look for when you're buying the replacement screen. Okay, you can also buy this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is free email technical support when you install the screen and also we have a compatibility guarantee so if the screen we ship you is not compatible we'll send you the right one also uh, we ship screens worldwide so if you're outside the United States we can ship the screen to you also uh, to buy the screen from us go to screensurgeons.com on that page click on buy a screen 
and on the new page, there will be a short form for you to fill out with your email and your laptop model, and then we'll email you the link to buy the right screen. Okay, when you do receive your screen, make the connection as I showed you before. Put the screen back and put the screws back onto the metal mounting brackets. Then make sure you tighten the bottom screws after that. Then put these screws back on and uh, snap the screen bezel on and put the two screws on at the bottom and you're done and you should be good to go. Okay, that's it. My name is Eugene Penridge. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.